Hello and welcome to Melissa Data, your partner in data quality. My name is Matthew Bain. I'm a product specialist here at Melissa Data. This video covers using the match code editor for Melissa Data's matchup. So first off, what is matchup? Matchup is used to compare database records and determine if a duplicate record exists. Matchup is offered as a standalone Windows software solution, programmer's API, an SSIS component, and a Pentaho component. Matchup is all about identifying duplicates. So how do you set the rules for determining whether two records match or not? For example, we have these two records. It's obvious that they have completely different formatting. So how do we match these differently formatted records? By determining a matching strategy. For example, do I want to match on last name, address, and zip code? Or perhaps include a first name or a company in my match rules? These rules are called a match code. Matchup is distributed with the match code editor a graphic interface tool which allows you to determine and create rules when comparing records. This match code editor gives you the ability to edit the default match codes or create completely new ones. These rules can be as simple as this, where we include only the zip5, street number, and name, and PO box, and only have two matching conditions, or as complex as this, where we have a lot more information and way more matching conditions. So what's in a match code? Now we'll go over a quick review of the pieces of a match code. First we have the match code name. This is a unique name which identifies that match code. The name should usually give a general description as to how it'll match records or describe a particular job process. Then we have the match code components. The match code contains one or more of these components. These are the data types that will be evaluated to determine whether the records being compared are duplicates. Component properties. Each component has properties which can be set individually, giving you added flexibility in how a particular component is used. Then we have our component label. Each component can be given a label which describes the data type, and component size, which dictates how many characters of the incoming data will be used in the comparison. Component start, which is the starting position. So almost always the starting position is set to extract values from the left of the data field but alternative settings exist when, for example, a data type contains formatted data and you wish to evaluate a set position. Component strategy. Each component can be set as an exact comparison or one of the fuzzy algorithms to catch typos, auditory likenesses, or specific character groups like vowels or consonants. When a component is set with a fuzzy algorithm, the distance property, or threshold, is set for that component missing component. The short empty setting specifies if two records can match even if a particular component is blank. Swap matching. If the values of two components are reversed between two fields or potentially reside in multiple fields, swap matching will compare the values across the fields in addition to comparing the default mapped in field. Match code combinations. The question most often asked about the match code editor is, what are these columns of checkboxes? So each column represents a condition or combination of components which will cause a match. So in this case, match code combination one would return true if zip five, first name, last name, street number, and street name all match. Building match keys. Before we discuss how the combinations are applied, I'll show how Matchup uses only the relevant data to compare the records. For each record, Matchup builds a match key. This is based on each of the specified match code components and their settings. It'll be a small representation of the actual record. So the match key structure that we would have from this match code, the first five characters from zip five, the first 10 characters from first name, the first 10 characters from last name, the first five characters from street number, the first 10 characters from street name, and the first 10 characters from PO box. Now the easiest way to get this is with examples. So let's go on to example number one. So with example one, in the first column we have our match code component, in the second column we have the example contact, and in the third column, the type of field mapping needed for the match key. So we pull out the first five characters from zip five, 
Then we pull the only four characters from first name. Then we pull the only five characters from last name. We have two characters from street number. Then we have four characters from street name. And then we have no characters for PO box. So this is our match key for example one, including the spaces. Now let's look at example two. We have the same match code components. We have a different example contact. And because of this, the field mapping is different. So this just illustrates that if a second file has a different format, your mapping in the setup will be different for that database. So you do not have to preformat your data. So again, using the field mapping and our internal parsing logic, MatchUp will extract only the relevant data needed to build the match key. Comparing match keys. In an actual process, we'll have millions of keys. But in this case, to keep it simple, we'll stick with these two. So we're ready to compare these using the match code columns of component conditions. So these keys have the same zip5, first name, last name, street number, and street name, satisfying all of column 1's conditions. Therefore, the records match. And for column 2 conditions, the keys have the same zip5, first name, and last name, but the PO box does not match. Therefore, all of the conditions are not satisfied. However, these records are returned as a match because column 1 was satisfied. If any one of the columns are satisfied, the records are returned as a match. So in summary, the match code editor lets you define the match code, the rules which determine whether the records will match or not. With 35 defined data types, individual component settings, and up to 16 simultaneous match code combinations, match code gives you a lot of flexibility to match records. And please note, when editing match codes, make changes in small increments and evaluate the results and repeat the process as necessary. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can always contact us at melissadata.com or call us at 1 800 Melissa. Have a nice day!